I'm going to give you a quick review of the Tenlog TL-D3 Pro. This is a dual extruder 3D printer. So what makes this different than other dual extruder printers is that both of the extruders work independently of each other. Of course, one of the main benefits of it being a dual extruder printer is that you can print in two different colors. You can also print with two different materials if you wanted to. We only print in PLA. We can, of course, use PLA with ABS and make your models that way. Or you can use dissolvable filament and then you can easily dissolve any supports your print may have. Unlike other dual extruder printers where both nozzles are together, this particular printer, both nozzles work independently. This will prevent a lot of oozing of the PLA or other filament onto the model. Also, it'll save you filament. There's no need to build towers or walls around your print since each of the extruders will move independently. You can see it here as one extruder moves away, the other one comes back in to print a different color. This is a really unique way to print multicolor or multi-filament type prints. Another nice feature of having two extruders work independently is that you can actually duplicate the print. Very easy to do on the controller. Hit the duplicate button and you can actually print two of the same things at the same exact time on the print bed. So this is basically like having two printers working at the same time. For example, printing two of these cases would take two hours and 40 minutes, but since they're printing independently with each one, on a different extruder. This print only took an hour and 20 minutes. My son also printed 12 of these cases, which would have taken 18 hours. And since, again, each extruder is working independently, the print only took him nine hours. And since this bed is 300 by 300 mm, you have plenty of room on here to do dual prints, no problem. So my son creates and designs these industry keychains. This is what he uses a 3D printer for. So this keychain here is hand painted. To get away from hand painting the keychains, you wanted to get a printer with a dual extruder so you can print in two colors. And if you have an interest in purchasing any of these pool industry keychains, you can find the link below in the description to his Etsy store. So let's take a look at the two prints that came off of the time lapse here. By the way, this has a silent motherboard. They have two versions, and I got the version with the silent motherboard. You can hear it here, how quiet it is. All you hear is the fan. Also, the belt on extruder 2 was kind of wobbly, and I adjusted that for the next print. Hey, here's the print. It came out of extruder 1. You can see it came out really good. Here's the one that came out of the extruder 2. Here are the two prints up close. This is the one that came off the ender. Here's the one that came off extruder 1. It's looking really good. Here's the one that came off extruder 2. And again, if you compare it to the one that came off of the ender, they look really good. Now let's take a look at the two color print. This was done with PLA and my son designs all of these prints himself. This is the MX-8 and you can see that the MX-8 logo is a little bit messed up here and that's because of the slicing and he fixed that for the next run. But this was the first print with two colors and I wanted you to see how it turned out. Here's the first dual color print. You can see that it came out really nice. This is the G-code problem here. Same with this here. On this side, you can see the letters came out really nice. And here's a look at some more dual color prints from the 10 log. This is a DC-10 that my son made. This is a tanker that's dropping water here over the fires in California. You can see that the two colors came out really nice. And here's a Riptide printed with the blue PLA and the orange PLA. And here's the MX-8 in the final version with everything corrected. And so if you're using the 10 log to print in dual colors, you can see that the outcome is great. And the filament sits on top here. You can use two different colors or, of course, two different materials to print in. You can print supports in a dissolvable filament. Or you can, of course, print dual colors like we're using it for. And it comes in a glass bed that's 300 by 300. And leveling a bed is really easy to do. There's actually a video on their channel that shows you how to level their bed, which is really good. Another nice feature, it has these filament runout sensors. I'm not exactly sure where to connect them at. I just kind of zip tied them here to these cables. And this is a direct feed 3D printer, so no Bowden tubes. It's actually pretty easy to load the filament. Okay, you just press down here and slide the filament in. And 
And a TED lock comes with this really nice 4.3 inch LED screen. It has the usual displays here. It'll give you your print time. It'll also tell you which extruder is working at each time and a temperature of each one. So the included display is definitely top notch. And included are your typical accessories for the 3D printer. You have a scraper here. Then you have the filament cutter. And it comes with various wrenches and Allen wrenches. Also a USB cable and a loader for the card. And by the way, the card sits right here on the side. It also came with two small spools of PLA. And it came with some tape here for the glass bed to help the print stick. I definitely prefer a glue stick if you're going to use anything. Also included were some simple instructions on how to assemble it. Again, it was pretty easy. And then this is the manual. Mainly is the installation and a little bit of the operation. It also comes with this decorative strip they can put into the printer. So my son settled on the 10 log for his fourth 3D printer for his business because of the great features that it offers. Of course, the ability to print in two colors is the reason why he got this printer in the first place. But I think the duplicate mode is actually probably the best feature because now you can really maximize your print time. And it's just no comparison to those printers with only one extruder like his other printers here. So if you're in the market for a good 3D printer, and even if you don't want to use the dual color mode, I think the duplicate mode here is an excellent reason to purchase the 10 log printer. Leslie's Pool Supplies has been do-it-yourselfers and pool trade professionals trusted partner since 1963, providing quality products and services to make pool care easy and solutions and expertise to do it right.